How you doing? My name is Nick. I live in the Catskills at Substate, New York. I do a lot of work on the truck videos, like this Ram 2500. This is a 2021. And I do work in the shop videos and in the house. And if you like that sort of stuff, subscribe. This video is going to be about this fridge slide that I built. And if you haven't been following along, all the links are in the description. The last video I did, I built this cabinet right here. And we're not done with the cabinet. There's actually still some hatches that I need to put in. That'll be in the next video. This video is just gonna be about the fridge slide. I should point out that you can buy fridge slides nowadays. Absolutely can buy them. They're not that expensive anymore. 150, 200 bucks. Iceco, I'll link to a couple in the description. You might not need a custom one. I needed a custom one because the constraints that I had basically decided for me that there was no way I could do a fridge slide unless I made it my own. A fridge slide nowadays, clearance, inch and a half to two and a half inches. That's where they range from. I had a half inch. I had a half inch on the bottom and a half inch on top. You can see, um, I can't even get my finger in here without this thing popping up. I have very, very little room. Now, you might be able to put one of those bigger fridge slides in, but hey, maybe you wanna save some room too. Also, width-wise and depth too, these things aren't tailored to your fridge. Sometimes you could have a fridge and put it in a fridge slide and it's two, three inches hanging off the sides and six inches hanging off the back. I didn't want that either. I wanted it to be absolutely perfectly formed to the fridge. This fridge is a cheap fridge. It's a Joitas, Joitas, I'm not sure how you say it, 42 liter, 330 bucks maybe, 350 bucks, somewhere right around there. I'll link this in the description. It's a 110 slash 12 volt. I built this in a way that anybody can build it. No welding. So the first thing I did was, and this is the hardest part, honestly. This is the, it's a very easy build, but the hardest part is buying the draw slides because when you see the price, you're gonna fall on the floor. The draw slides are over a hundred bucks. They're about 105 bucks. 24 inch draw slides, 400 pound draw slides. I'm gonna link them in the description. These are the ones that you want. They are extremely strong. This thing comes out, it's maybe three eighths of an inch above this tailgate. I could sit on this thing and it wouldn't touch the tailgate. It's extremely strong. The screws that you screw into the cabinet are gonna rip out before these, these draw slides are gonna bend. These are the ones you want. Trust me, it's the most expensive part of this. Just do it. Bite the bullet and do it. You are going to thank me when this is over because it is gonna be rock freaking solid. The next thing, you gotta buy some aluminum. Two by two by one eighth. Amazon has it, two 48 inch pieces. I'll link them in the description. It's gonna cost you um, $45. So we're up to about 150 bucks, which is about the, what you would spend. Next thing, rivet. You need a rivet gun. They're not that expensive. You can buy a rivet gun and some rivets for 25 bucks and you'll have it forever. Buy it. I'll link a couple in the description. I used aluminum rivets. You can use aluminum or you can use stainless steel. Stainless steel is going to be a little bit stronger. And the cool thing about the rivet, you can cheat a little bit. And I actually cut it so tight that I needed to cheat on this side, which you can't see right now. But there's like maybe three thirty seconds of a gap or maybe even an eighth of a gap between the two pieces of aluminum. How you set up this angle is important because it's all about support. It's all about support. The long sides of the angle has to go on the bottom. And you're gonna overlap the short side because the long side is, is not gonna be as strong, but it's then screwed to this crazy 400 pound draw slide, which is screwed to the cabinet or whatever you're screwing it to. That means that these short sides are supported by everything here, the cabinet, the draw slide, the screws, the rivets, everything and the angle. It can't bend. This is extremely strong. And I'll tell you another reason why it's strong. The rivets that connect these two angles together, it's not being held by that. Those are just stopping it from moving. All the strength is in the sheer strength of the rivets. There's no pullout issue with this. And an aluminum rivet, a 3 16 aluminum rivet, has a shear strength of like 200 pounds. I also, I should point out, I put a strip in the center. And that was really just support wise. It was inch and a half by eighth. This beauty panel I did, clearly I had the carpet already because it matches this and I have a ton of this carpet. But if you wanted to do it, I would highly suggest that, in fact, let me get the can. Cut it out of wood. I use three quarter. You can use whatever you want because it's just a way to cover the metal. You could just leave it open. It doesn't matter. I mean, you could have, you could see the metal. It's not really a big deal. But if if you don't want to see it, buy a can of this Rust-Oleum Undercoating Pro Grade. This is a rubberized black. 
This stuff is awesome. You can spray wood, wood with it, give it like three coats. It will be perfectly black and it will have a cool little texture to it. It's matte black, which I like. I've done it on a few things inside here that you probably saw in a different video, probably the last video. This stuff is great. I don't know, maybe it's somewhere between seven and $10. Carpet is a little tricky, I have to say. Really pay attention to how I did those corners. You gotta use glue, you gotta use carpet glue. Roberts, I think 6700 is, is, is the number. They sell it in a small container. I had a gallon because I did this whole thing and I'm gonna be doing more. But, but yeah, it's definitely the hardest way to do it. Do you really need to use glue? Can you use contact cement? If you're careful, yes. Contact cement dries a lot quicker. So you got to be dead on. When you put that thing on there, you got to be dead on. Contact cement or like like uh, spray adhesive, fast, fast. You better be right. Spray it on the wood, spray it on the carpet, and you better be right when you put it down. And then obviously a staple gun. I have a pneumatic staple gun. I'm going to give you a tip on the staples. Spray paint them to match the carpet. It's a lot harder to do carpet. I would highly suggest you pick up a can of this black. Uh, they may even do like a gray or something like that. It's the simplest, simplest way. And you screw it from the back, just like I did. And you don't need a countersink bit. I, I don't have a countersink bit here. All you got to do is use a big bit, a regular bit. Don't try and use a bit the size of the screw head. It's not going to work out. Use like a half inch bit. A half inch bit is gonna just take it, go very slow. It'll take out enough where you can get it to sit almost as good as a countersink bit. If you have a countersink bit, you're in great shape. But if you don't have one, you can use a really big bit, a half inch, five eighths too, five eighths is good. And just, it'll just hog out that outside. It's a very, it's not a very steep angle on the tip of that. That's why you want it. If you use a small one, the size of the head, you will drill straight through it before you even get close to being able to countersink it. I'm telling you, it'll be like, boom, you, you won't even know what happened. Use a big bit. That's the best way around that. It won't be perfect, but it'll be pretty darn good. And you're not going to see it if you do it like I did. it. So that's it. That's the build on this fridge slide. I hope you learned something. I hope you liked it. And it's, 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 if I had to do it over again, I would do this the exact same way. There was, I have no regrets about this. It's great. There was nothing I could do. Uh, but let's say I could do something. Let's say I could put a, a two and a half inch one in there. I don't know. I think I'd still rather build it. It's the same amount of money. It's cheaper than the $200 one and I can save room. So that's it. All right, everyone. Catch you on the next one. See ya.